Hey, what up? This is Marcellus from Marcellus King Photography, and we got a new product to review today, something that I've been very excited on getting in, and it's just arrived, really hoping to play with it, both in video editing and gaming. So what could it possibly be? Well, it's the GeForce Titan video card. So this bad boy has 12 gigabytes of video memory, and it's also capable of doing 4K. So let's open up the box. As you can see, it's just arrived, hasn't even been touched. So let's get started. Okay, so we have here the GeForce Titan. As you can see, this thing hasn't even been opened yet. This is a virgin opening. So, let's go ahead and get the box cutter here and kind of nick that in the corner. Give us a good place to start. And we shall commence the opening of the toy box. I'm quite sure that somewhere out there, somebody's really getting a kick out of this sound of this plastic crinkling and rippling. Not really my thing, but I'm, you know, I'm sure it's doing something for somebody out there. Let's go ahead and open that up here. All right. All right. Sorry for not doing like a top-down uh, video. One of my poles broke. I know I've done some, you know, directly from the top uh, openings, you know, before in the past, and um, but not able to get that done today. So my apologies. All right. So, oh, there's something else in the box there. <laughs> kind of figured it seemed a little bit heavy for a box. Let's see what this is. Look like some sort of poster here. Oh, EVGA poster. All right. That's not going to be tacked up on any walls here. If any of you guys want that poster, just uh, let me know. I will send it to you. I have no need for it. I mean, it's a nice gesture. So, of course, you got the manual CD drivers, quick start guide. Oh, some stickers. And let's open her up here. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Set this off to the side there. And I don't know what this is here. This, um, okay, it's a little DVI to a VGA adapter. We'll just kind of set that off here. And I'm not really opening any of these plastic items yet because I don't have any anti-static gloves on. And uh, as much as I pay for this card, I do not want to uh, ruin it. So my apologies uh, if any of you guys wanted to uh, see that. Matter of fact, this one we might be able to rip open here. It's just a regular power cable there. So that'll be uh, useful for when you reconnect. And then uh, looking here, here's another uh, cable. This is just another uh, power cable to help supply power uh, coming from your power supply. So maybe if you don't have the appropriate connections on your power supply, uh, they do supply the cables to get that working. And then the card itself. I think it's in there pretty solid here. Let's, there we go. Oh, all right. So maybe I will do, I'll just be really careful with this. So. Get this foam out the way, toss that to the side. Somewhere there's like an anti-static person just really flipping their lid. <laughs> this is just my way of trolling you. So here is the card itself. Absolutely stunning looking. I'm trying to make sure not to touch any of the contact uh, parts there. So it looks like they did actually protect the PCI part uh, with a little piece that slips off, you know, so that's good, you know, kind of protect that from accidents, kind of hold that up so you can get a better uh, angle of that. And then, uh, ooh, I have my video just a little bit out of focus there, my apologies. So uh, anyway, we do have some uh, ports here on the back. You got a DVI and then you got multiple um, like HGC 
That's display port. Another display port. That's going to be HDMI. And then another uh, display port. So, you, of course, you can see um, when looking at the product page for this uh, GPU that I'm quite sure many of you have, um, you'll be able to see those connections anyway. So, anyway, there's the unboxing, but I'm quite sure that some of you guys want to see this thing in action. So I'm going to show you some footage from a game that's in development called Descent Underground. And we will uh, show what this thing can do. And also I'll go ahead and pull up some, um, maybe some get some video done of uh, maybe Grand Theft Auto 5 as well. I do have that uh, loaded up. So, you know, let's see what this bad boy can do on this test drive. Stay tuned. Okay, so one of the things I wanted to mention about this GeForce Titan card, um, I don't know if any of the previous GeForce cards had this uh, feature or not, but I didn't know that it actually lit up. So I thought I was really just dealing with some sort of reflective uh, tape or something at first until I turned my lights off and this thing was just glowing like mad, like, oh, wow, that's not reflective tape, that's an actual you know glow. So I know it's kind of hard to tell with the lighting here, so let me go ahead and turn my lighting uh, down all the way so you can actually see um, this glow. So there you go. Um, when you're going to be, when you're at LAN parties and you got like a window on your case, people are gonna know, yes, you got a GeForce GTX in your case. I mean, <laughs> this thing is really kind of pimped out and it's actually a lot quieter um, now that it's on. You can see the case is actually open and um, I was expecting this thing like some previous uh, GeForce cards to really kind of start up like a jet engine. That is really not the case at all. Uh, it is very, very, um, you know, quiet for a card of that power. Uh, one of the things I do want to mention, however, um, is the uh, power requirements, <laughs> you know, for this. So this might be of concern to uh, those who uh, need or who might have like uh, older power supplies. So let me show you that real quick here. Hold on. Okay, so for those of you who um, may have some older power supplies, there's something to take in consideration when getting this card. And that's the fact that the PCIe connections, um, pull this cable down here, is that it actually uses a six and an eight. So if you're lucky enough to have a power supply that actually supplies uh, two different uh, PCIe connections, plus this little extra connection here, uh, you can go ahead and power this card by inserting uh, one of the six pin PCIe uh, connections in, throwing the other six pin in on the other side with the additional uh, two pin. But outside of that, uh, there are some adapters uh, that do come with the card. But again, if you, my suggestion is that uh, if your power supply doesn't have those connections, yes, it does come with adapters, but because of the power draw, um, you will probably have more stable, more better results, uh, get more out of your system overall uh, if you upgraded your power supply to accommodate this uh, card. So that is something to take in consideration. Uh, if you have any questions about that, just hit me up in the comments. So really wanted to point that out. So anyway, um, the card is installed. It is looking great. I've actually done some tests on the monitor. I'm actually doing a monitor review at the same time, but I wanna go ahead and show you some uh, game footage as well. So stay tuned for that, and uh, just to show you how beautiful this thing looks. Okay, so here's another game I want to show you. Well, the first game, really. And this is Descent Underground, which is currently in development. Uh, it is a remake of the classic Descent series for those of you guys who are fans. And you see here I have it running at 2560 by 1440. Of course, it's been downsized for this video with all of the options turned to high or ultra. Basically, we're maxing out all the graphic settings. And here you can see that the game is just absolutely beautiful. Again, you're looking at it at a downsized resolution, just so it fits in this video, and it still looks absolutely stunning. You see these bloom effects, uh, these glows, you know, the lens flare, everything. This is an absolutely gorgeous game. So look for it on Steam. Uh, it is uh, currently on sale, and um, it's awesome. I love it. The next one here is Star Citizen. I'm quite sure a lot of you guys are familiar with this game already. And man, I'm 
I was just taken aback by how well this game looked. Um, I just bought Star Citizen, so there's a lot of things I have to learn. I still have to learn how to fly. <laughs> so uh, it's definitely not one of those things that you could just hop into and start kicking butt. There's definitely a lot of learning curve to it. And even getting out of the ship was, you know, learning curve. But just seeing this game um, in per live on the screen rather than YouTube videos, it just... Man, it doesn't do it justice, you know, until you see it live. That's really the only thing that I could say about uh, this game. Right now on my screen, it is running at 2,500 uh, plus resolution. And, of course, it's downsized, you know, for the sake of this video, but it's absolutely gorgeous. So I will be uploading some higher resolution videos of um, Star Citizen and Descent Underground on my gaming channel. So check down below in the description to find the links to my other channels and see these games in their absolutely full glory. So, forgive me for taking so long to make another video. I've just been kind of busy with life, so I'm really kind of getting back into my video production, and I'm definitely looking to still improve. And, man, this game, Descent, though, has, I admit, has taken up quite a bit of my time as well. So, if you're interested in this game, it is on Steam, uh, or you can Google search for Descent Underground, uh, it is currently in development and has pre-access. So just like Star Citizen, uh, you can basically buy into this game early and play the multiplayer right now as we speak. It is very fast-paced, uh, very graphic, very beautiful, very awesome to play, and it's a great community. So, you know, come check it out. It's really awesome. I definitely support these developers. So peace out. Uh, please subscribe. Uh, I'll plan on having these videos uh, pumping out more often and uh, check out my gaming channel which I've also been spending some time building up as well so again thank you for watching the video thank you for checking it out please leave your comments in the I mean please leave your feedback in the comments and um, I'll answer any questions that you have so thank you for watching peace out